Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Last Born in the Wilderness. This is episode 200 of this podcast. Crazy. Hi Patrick, my name's Peter, I'm 59 years old and I live in the Isle of Man, which is a small offshore island of the British Isles. I like your podcast. It's like when you look at a city or when you look at any landscape, right, that uh, the further up you go, the more you get a comprehensive view the great wealth that seems to exist in the United States is heavily grounded upon slavery and the African slave trade. Something here is that a real internalization of a settler colonialist myth about what whiteness is and about what whiteness has meant. That's why a lot of people will, will go silent or go within and internalize their trauma. I'm saying that I believe that the, that the particular wrinkles of elderhood are dictated by the times in which the possible elders find themselves. As it stands today, our culture is a life-destroying force on this planet. The current projection is that uh, we're set up to start having ice-free periods in the summer of Arctic sea ice uh, within about five years from right now. We tend to prefer the here and now over future and uh, distant places. It's a natural tendency. Solidarity in our charity is really important and it's it's really important in exercising dual power, which is, you know, creating the world that we want to see. Where there are constant uprisings, constant resistance, people constantly fighting back. Uh, in those countries, more often than not, the states are less able to develop their repressive capacities. World Resources Institute is one of the key people behind the Fourth Industrial Revolution, behind everything, behind the financialization of nature. It will take even longer to become um, carbon zero, right? Because you're using so many resources to, and that's where that's where it really becomes impossible. Not only kind of impossibly expensive within capitalism. It holds the the it holds the sorrow, it holds the suffering, it holds the exploitation of the workers who created it. The, the labor that went into that doesn't go away. Because we don't know for sure what's going to happen, and even if we did, even if we did, I, I would still get up and try to do the right thing simply because, um, you know, I want to go out on my feet. A great deal of uh, indigenous people do center their identity and their culture. Um, on the land, right, and our, our relationship with the land. But I've, I've absolutely come to the conclusion that uh, that um, that reform is impossible. As I've said, that that this society cannot and should be not should not be saved. What the myth of the dying God tells me under these circumstances is um, that, of course, we're going to die. Uh, we were always going to die. The planet created us for a reason. Just like all species, all species have a role to play in the maintenance of the whole and the development of the whole. So that the sequence of steps between here and that future, every step of the way we need to be as effective as we possibly can, and that requires us to work with what is actually happening. It will not always satisfy everyone. We will be offended most of the time, but here is the deal. The world is messy incredibly messy. That is not a justification for not doing all we can, but it is maybe a shocking reminder that we're not going to finally get this together, that we are limited, we are embedded, and yeah, I think I'll just stop it there.